Assalamu alaikum. Today's lecture is ECMO nomenclature. As due to widespread of ECMO use, uh, it's highly needed to have unique abbreviation for uh, clinical practice, research, and education. And all of this will be discussed in this lecture. Maastricht Treaty for Nomenclature and Configuration uh, of Cannulation in ACLS are divided into two parts. First part for clinical use, which has uh, level one and level two. Uh, second part is for research or quality improvement application, and it's divided into level three and four. Abbreviations are read in the direction of circuit blood flow. For example, from left to right, the interface between the drainage and the return sites represents the position of the membrane lung, and it is denoted as the following. One single membrane, it will be single dash like that. Two parallel membrane will be two parallel dash. We have uh, two types of extracorporeal life support uh, uh, if we want to increase ECMO, uh, oxygenation, we can use extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. Or the other is extracorporeal CO2 removal. For uh, type of ECMO or extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, there is VA ECMO for cardiac support, and here it can be used post cardiotomy or in ACBR uh, VVA ECMO which is, can be used in cardiorespiratory failure, and he can support cardiac and for cardiac and respiratory ECMO. BV ECMO, which is respiratory failure, and it's called respiratory ECMO. VV ECMO, which is RV with respiratory failure, and can be used for respiratory ECMO with, and RV support. For extracorporeal CO2 uh, removal, BV extracorporeal CO2 removal or EV for EV extracorporeal CO2 removal. Here can be used for patient with CO2 retention and there is no problem in oxygenation. For description of levels of uh, 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 nomenclature, first will be first level is configuration, the second level is cannula cannulation site. The tip position is the third, and cannula dimension is the fourth level. Configuration level one, multiple cannulas, secondary cannulas, uh, use of prefixes. Cannulas contributing to a major flow, uh, uh, like drainage or return, it will be written in uppercase. In case this case is V A ECMO, so the V is a drainage cannula in venous, and it's written in uppercase. And here dash is representing the position of the membrane, and A is representing A arterial, which is written in uppercase. The first part in configuration is multiple cannulas. Additional cannulas are put to the outside of original remaining cannulas on the respective drainage or turned cannula. If we have VA ECMO and we need to add, add a second venous drainage cannula, will be marked as a V, so it will be placed to the left of the original, so it will be VV-A. But if we wanted to convert VA patients into hybrid mode, so we can add another turned cannula to the venous site. So it will be V-AV uh, ECMO. Secondary or uh, low uh, secondary cannula or low flow cannula, which are written in the lower case, and these cannulas can be used to unload, uh, for example, unload the ventricle, or can be used for, uh, for example, distal integrate uh, cannula to cannulate the leg in VA ECMO, uh, and they are connected to the major vessels uh, femoral uh, return cannula, and the uh, distal part to uh, the superficial uh, femoral artery. Uh, they are small cannulas, uh, 5 to 8 French, and they are written in lowercase, denoting distal. Recently, development of femoral arterial cannula with an inside to distal perfusion port, which obviously cannot be separated from the cannula, so it's abbreviated as ADD to mark this is unique uh, feature. Circuit, uh, the blood is driven, uh, derived by 
a patient blood pressure for CO2 removal, the drainage will be from the artery and return to the venous. So it will be designed as AV. Is used as prophylaxis. EV EC2, uh, EC2 removal in pumpless circuit can be indicated by placing PL directly before the drainage cannula. It's PL EV. Using of D-volume cannula, DL, DLT is used in VV or B, VB. ACLS is indicated by placing DL, DL VV. Uses of prefixes like DLVVA, VA ECMO configuration using both uh, limbs of DL, DLC, cannula for drainage, with separate uh, arterial return cannula. Uh, the other part is DLVVA, is a dual human cannula, it's used for drainage and the return in VA support, and the second return cannula will be arterial cannula. A known creature is cannulation sat, and uh, here we can see uh, for V F L. F L is written F in uh, indexed in lower case letter, and L also in lower uh, case letter. So F indicated femoral, and L left uh, J will be jugular uh, subclavian, and if we put G, it will be chimney graft, C R carotid, uh, L and R right and left. V, as I mentioned before, is a tip position and it's used for research or quality improvement and not in clinical use. So here IVC, this means at hepatic vein level in inferior vena cava. And this is written also in the lower case. Uh, it may be uh, right, uh, for example, AL left atrium, uh, AR right atrium, uh, V ventil, it's venting castor in left atrium. So this is indicating the position of the, of the tip of the cast. In configuration is cannula diameter and lens. It will be, uh, for example, here 17 and 18. And it is also for research and uh, quality uh, improvement uh, purposes. For central cannulation, uh, if the cannula present in right atrium, or cannula present in right ventricle, uh, sometimes cannula present in BA, in pulmonary, direct cannulation, cannula present in left atrium, uh, or uh, left ventricle, or cannula present in aorta, uh, uh, chimney graft uh, may be used for replacement in inhumanate in, 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 in artery, and transvalvular left ventricular support uh, for transvalvular axial pump. Sometimes we can combine central and peripheral application together. This conf configuration formulated in the direction of blood flow, but the junction between the two parts of the circuit is a marker with slash. For such example, VGRA or IGA, uh, which is a VA ECMO support with peripheral venous drainage from the right atrium uh, through cannulated cannula placed uh, through inter right internal jugular, which is a peripheral component, one membrane lung, and the return flow into chimney graft uh, on the innominate artery, which are uh, central component. This is the reference of this lecture besides uh, ECMO uh, ELSO Red Book. Thank you and ready to uh, receive your comment and questions in the comments below.